Good morning YouTube here with my April budget. I know it's very late and the reason is because I fell off the wagon again in March with my travel. Something about when I travel and I just don't care and I just start swiping, swiping, swiping. So I have to work on that but let's just look at I guess my mid month because it's about that time. Um, here we go. So April, I got my income, my husband's two checks so far, two child support payments. I got a miscellaneous payment from um, U.S. Treasury from a savings bonds or something I did like a year or two ago. I don't know. It just matured and so they cashed it out for me. Um, and then 37, 16 is my VA travel to my medical appointments. Then for actual expenses for the household, mortgage has come out ten forty six fifty four. This will be the last month that it will be this low due to my escrow. I have a new build home, and so once they redid my escrow calculations for the full purchase price of my house, it went up from one o two one o three to um, about two hundred forty five dollars, and then they added an additional five hundred dollars. That I'm not happy about, which is another reason why this is late. I was in a funk. When you get a bill higher than you anticipate, sometimes sends you off the rails. So that's what it did for me. Um, my water bill is $83.55. In the budget, I actually wrote down the correct totals. Um, I'm thinking about just instead of estimating what I think those bills are going to be as far as utilities, just writing in the correct ones because we do get paid every week. So it's not such a big deal for me to be estimating and my water has been like so high compared to where I was estimating it at which was $60 so that's quite a change to 83 um, electric is under from 300 to 286 so that one kind of balances out when my water goes over but I'm just trying to find out the best way um, please let me know in the comments below what do you think I should do still budget an estimate or just wait until the bill comes and put it in um, if I do an estimate, electric I'm going to keep at 300 because some months it is over 3 And then water, I will move that up to $80. Okay, so Geico has come out two hundred eight seventy. That's an increase. They just did our policy and it went up. Um, Mutual Omaha has not. That's a life insurance. Basic Talk came in at thirteen forty five. Do not know why it was 20 cents cheaper, but I appreciate it. Netflix is only $9.84 this month and I decreased the number of screens that we have because I'm just being cheap with the whole Netflix thing and I don't appreciate them constantly going up on their prices. Like I appreciate the service, but we also have Amazon, we have Hulu, um, and then we sit around and watch YouTube. Between me and the kids, we're watching YouTube all day. So Netflix might be getting canceled depending on what my husband says, or he just might have to take over that bill. So we'll discuss that when we discuss that and figure that out. Waste Industries, that's my trash pickup, $43.50, it's every three months. Um, CDE Electric, um, $286.53. Home Security Brinks is $4105. Forrester's is Insurance, $4606, hasn't come out. Verizon um, 116 14 for three phone lines hasn't come out and then Hulu 654 Hulu did go down in prices which that's another reason why I'm mad at Netflix like how can Hulu go down and Netflix steady going up something about that is so not right but that's the point that's annoying me anywho now to my debt payoff so I paid off Gordman I didn't pay off Gortman's, I'm sorry. I have a charge on my Gortman's credit card. It's a department store. Um, when I went home, I got home decor and a little bit of clothes for the kids. And so, yeah, it's actually $300. At the time I did the budget, it was only $112.91. So the home decor took me over like another $200. And I'll be paying that sometime. I don't know. So far, I have paid $77.60. That's why you see that in pencil there. Um, Ashley, the 18070 came out. My car, 125, haven't paid yet. Just paid the journey 595.80 today. Um, credit card 125. I've actually paid over that. Just don't know how much quite yet. I haven't calculated all of that. 
Um, and then Olo, that's another credit card, and it's a $1,156.58 that I wanted to pay this month. I will likely not be paying off this full balance um, due to the other credit card charges that I did this month. And so some of that will roll over. I'm just trying to debate how much. Um, groceries, $100 was budgeted. Have gone over that already just due to the sales around Easter and the Passover and things like that. It's just some really good deals going on right now. And so I made the decision to not pay as much on my credit card, get more groceries to do stockpiling and get my house squared away and then um, come back and just figure out how I'm going to pay off the credit card, which that doesn't bother me. Restaurants, 1503. I'm probably over on that. Kids 160, that's for their school lunch. And I'm under on that. And I also bought Lunchables with the grocery money, which may cut now how much the kids' actual lunch end up costing me this month. And I've also paid 7048 on my student loans. So what was supposed to happen was my income was going to be 4500 Here's what I budgeted. Expenses there, $1928.98 which those are actually accurate due to me waiting um, to get all the bills in. So this is what it costs to run my household about $2,000 a month, which is pretty good to me. So um, that left $2,571.02 in my budget. Well, I was going to put $2,295.99 to debt, which is likely may or may not happen. We shall see. At the end of my check-in and that would leave me 275 that I had to play with which of course just usually ends up going into my grocery bill because that's where I frivolously spend every month so things I'm working on this month I'm actually paying down debt I have a charge on my Victoria's Secrets card because I ordered things for my birthday and then I have a charge on my children's place card they had some sale and I got a couple things off clearance for my daughter so those are two credit cards not showing, but um, I have to figure out how we're going to pay them off and what I'm going to do. And let me just flip to my monthly view. So on the monthly view, it's currently the 12th. So all of the bills with the check marks have been paid. So if you look at the monthly view, this is an Erin Condren um, life planner. But um, Gortman's, there has been a payment. It just hasn't been the one twelve ninety one. Basic Talk brings all these are paid. I just paid the journey today. That's when it was scheduled. Um, the 13th is my birthday. I will be 36. 36 still in debt. Yes, that's me. Um, but yeah, so Waste Industries, my water and my electric, these are already paid, but they're not due till these days here. But I've prepaid them pretty much, so they're good. So everything else that has to come out of my account will do so automatic payments with the exception of my car which is here my Olo card my credit card which another reason why I'm waiting to pay this is because I get a check here from my husband so we shall figure out how much that's going to be um, as showed the student loans has been paid there we go and then my credit card has been paid so these two are actually paid I just have to write in the totals once I calculate them after I complete this video but this is my monthly view um, I use this spread in conjunction with my budget that we just went over just so that way I can schedule which paychecks is paying which items I know that on the um, week the mortgage is due that's a week where I have to take my husband's paycheck for the main bills and then I usually pay the actual mortgage out of my check then on the week when the journey is due because I only get $600 from my husband's check then that pretty much is taken up by how much we pay on our journey so I know that the following week those bills have to be paid in advance so then I'll pay them a week or two in advance so that's another way that I do budgeting that helps me is by just simply um excuse my feet in the frame but it's by um, scheduling anticipating what has to come out on which days so I like the monthly view in this spread as well as the whole 
um, list that I go over at the beginning. And if you want to know my debt numbers, here they go. So, $177,500, that's my house, and it's valued at more than that. $69,529.53 is my student loans. I have a bachelor's and some credits towards my master's, which I have not finished. Um, $9,250, that's my car, and it's valued at more than that. So, I actually would make money if I were to sell my car, which I've been thinking about. I just can't make myself do it right now. $8,853.34 was my credit card totals at the beginning of... April. However, in March, I transferred a Kirby account for my vacuum cleaner to a credit card so that way I could just eliminate one account. And so that amount may vary. Um, so my total debt $265,132.87. My husband has $37,960.12. That's on his um, car. Then he has $4,232.24 on his main credit card and then $950 on his LASIK surgery bill. So our total household debt is $308,275.23, which is an increase from when we started just due to us buying things, upgrading things, and living life. Like, we're trying to be debt-free and get out of debt. However, we are still incurring debt. So we're not doing very good, but it's a journey. It's a process. You live, learn, you grow. So I'm not here to criticize, judge. People can criticize and judge me if they want. It doesn't really bother me because I'm living my best life. As you know, I still travel and all of that. I try to do so with as little debt as possible, but sometimes debt gets the best of me. So these are things I'm working on, areas I'm working on. But thank you for watching, for tuning in. If you like this, um, just hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and also comment. Like, I know sometimes I'm an epic fail, but sometimes I have wins as well. So, just let me know what you think. Either way, I'm not going to be mad. I do go on rant sometimes when people are so judgmental. And it's not that I take it personally, because I don't care, because nobody's paying my bills other than my husband. But, um... I just think kindness usually works better. And then if you're going to be negative, just offer a solution. Yeah, most people will not listen, but at least you try. You know what I mean? So this is one of my longer videos. Sorry that it took so long. I do have my new tripod, but it's not the one I want. So I'll probably buy another one. So I'll be on like my fourth tripod trying to figure out what works for these videos. But thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye, y'all.